Okay, so we will often be given questions in competitive exams where glide slope will be given to us in percentage, not degrees. And we are required to find rate of descent to maintain on that particular glide slope. Now, 5% glide slope and at a ground speed of 150 knots, how to find ROD? So, we understand it quickly. And this is our runway touchdown. Whatever our glide slope angle is, it is not given to us. But they do tell us that it's 5% of your ground speed. Okay. Now, it's very interesting. Now, remember, your ROD is always calculated in a unit. ROD is always in feet per minute. So, here we will need the minute factor for us to be determined. So, the technique is very simple. First, whatever percent glide slope is given, find that percent value of your ground speed. 5% of 150, 5 divided by 100. 5% I write as 5 divided by 100 into 150, I will get 7.5. So this 7.5, okay, this means that basically if you are traveling at 150 knots, then knots means nautical miles per hour. It means that 7.5 that is 5% 5 of 150 knots what does it mean it means that overall in one hour you will be crossing 150 knots that is the meaning of your speed all right but what is the meaning of 7.5 here what is the meaning of 7.5 percent okay so here with respect to rod the meaning is For every 150 knots, okay, for every 150 knots you go forward horizontally, that is for one, every, uh, I would say, at this speed, for every 150 knots, probably you are going 150 nautical miles ahead every hour 7.5 nautical miles that is 5% of this 7.5 nautical miles you are going vertically so they are saying that for every 150 nautical miles at this speed that is 150 nautical miles per hour every hour you are losing 7.5 nautical miles. Why 7.5 nautical miles? Because 5% of 150 knots, 5% of 150 knots gives me 7.5 nautical miles. So for every 150 nautical miles traveled in an hour, if I say I have to travel 150 nautical miles in one hour at this speed, I am losing my vertical height with respect to the cross distance, the loss in my vertical height will be 7.5 nautical miles. Now, my rate of descent has to be in feet per minute. Okay. So, 7.5 nautical miles, it's actually in nautical miles and that is per hour. So, here in one hour, I am losing. Therefore, with respect to this, one hour, I lose... 7.5 nautical miles so first let's convert nautical miles into feet per minute first into feet this is for hour so first we'll convert 7.5 nautical miles into feet how do we do that we take approximate conversion one nautical mile is 6000 feet so 7.5 7.5 into 6000 for our calculations, we take this approximation to conversion. One nautical mile is 6,000 feet. We get 45,000 feet. So, for conversion, you can also do it in your CX3. 1 Nm nautical mile is equal to 6,000 feet. Okay? Therefore, 7.5 nautical miles, I'll be losing 
in feet would be 45,000 feet. Now, this I was losing vertical height in one hour at this speed. One hour is 60 minutes. Note, one hour is equal to 60 minutes. I want my rate of descent in feet per minute. I've got feet. So I am losing 45,000 feet in one hour. I want rate of descent per minute. So how much will I lose in minute? I'll do if 45,000 feet is in one hour. One hour is 60 minutes. Therefore, 45,000 divide by 60 in minutes okay 45,000 I'll write it again I'm not getting hard surface 45,000 divide by 60 what do I get 45,000 divide by 60 is equal to 750 so my correct answer is 750 feet per minute I hope you have understood this is for 5% percentage of glide slope. Find the percentage of your ground speed. The answer you get is the vertical height lost in nautical miles in an hour. You need to find it in feet per minute. So you convert the nautical miles into feet by multiplying whatever percent value you get of your speed by 6000 to get feet loss per hour and to divide it the hour in minute just divide that feet value by 60 to get the answer in feet per minute so your rod is 750 feet per minute in your books this is option a